I'd be glad to like train with you at a event sometime. Yeah, for That's, like, sure. Awesome. Yeah, no, for sure. Like we, it's been a while since we have actually played. I've been really busy at work and yeah. just usually I don't feel like playing when I get home. But uh, we need to have like a, just a smash fest sometime. Not a, a non-competitive. Well, like competitive and not like training. You know? yeah. That, that, that's I could definitely be forgetting better post. melee and then probably like, Yeah, I'm not go too low every melee time. I'm go too. And now, and what's nice about that is like getting better at melee would also make you like Project Down and melee are similar yeah. with like the tech skill and everything. So like, especially since I play Dawn based off one of the goals. Yeah. Like PM, I feel like learning melee is good for PM. Learning PM, some game. stuff you can go back to melee, but PM has a lot more unique stuff that. You may not carry over. If I play a giant character like Game of Thrones, it really doesn't help. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, hey, you play, play who you like to play and who you find yeah. fun, and um, yeah, people can make it work. I mean, I would like that really good. Didn't Hoodie play uh, Sonic? Is it Sonic? Yeah, he used to play Sonic. Yeah. Yeah. He used to. Did he switch because of 3.5? Uh, I'm pretty sure. I talked to him a little bit at a weekly, because I had to go to a weekly and then I had to leave. Uh -huh. But um, it's like an hour away from where his weekly time. He told me Sonic is just a lot different and stuff, so... Yeah, I see that like Yeah. It sucks how, like, the patches can change characters that much to the point where people won't play them anymore. Yeah, and then, again, a lot of people will just play, like, whoever's the best. That's true, yeah. Meta... Meta... X. Yeah, I hate that. Who doesn't like 3.5 Sonic? Yeah, that's what he told me, I remember. I remember I went down to a weekly. I talked to Hoodie a little bit, I talked to Patch a little bit. And I played a couple matches in Prime. Shout out to Prime. And like, I had to leave. So I didn't even get to play it back in. I paid and I forgot to, like. You say a weekly, it was like an Indianapolis thing? Or? Yeah, I was, you know, I was down there for Blaze Blue. I was like, hey, I have an hour, I can do stuff. Wait, you're 15? Yeah. How do you get there? Do you just catch rides with people? My mom, or? My mom drives. Okay. She just does stuff in Indianapolis anyway. Oh, okay, gotcha. Oh, yes, I remember when I was. When I was it must have been like 13, it was in like 7th grade, it was a melee tournament, and I wanted to go to this so badly, but of course I couldn't drive even like 13, yeah. and like, my mom wasn't gonna like take me, like she wasn't gonna let me go, and I was like, oh my god, I was like so sad, I was like, I just wanna go, to it was like on a weekend too, like there's no reason for her not to let me, she just didn't want me playing like video games, I guess. Yeah, that's, that's something I'm gonna Yeah, and then I remember like, Right before it started, my dad came out and was like, so how much time do we have to make it to this tournament? I was like, oh, you're the best. <laughs> See, that's the opposite of what, had, what would happen to me. My dad wouldn't have done it. Oh, really? Yeah. Mom's the, the nicer, the nicer one, the more lenient one, I would say. Yeah. yeah. And usually, usually my dad just declares to my mom, just like, yeah, you know, that's my mom. <laughs> yeah, I know that. He's <laughs> trying to get back in this match. I kind of forgot uh, this is here. Alright. So we've been watching it, but not really thinking about it. Oh man! Shadow Ball to teleport to Florida. That was really cool, actually. Yeah, it's kind of neat that Elsa actually plays Sheik and Switch to Zelda. I don't really see that. I pretty much back in 3.5 was like the only person that did that. Oh yeah. Or not back in 3.2. Yeah, yeah. It is cool. Um, I don't know too many people. I guess in this game, Zelda is much more viable. She's pretty good, right? Uh, Project Nightmare, yeah, she's good. Yeah, I don't like her 3.5 changes, that's why I dropped her. Her side B is way different, and I'm not too fond of it. Oh, you don't like that? No, it looks really cool. It looks like, it looks interesting. Like, it's like a very oh, yeah, it looks unique interesting. mechanic that not that people, other people don't have. I don't think but, it's dumb, I just don't like it. What it. So, how does it work? You can put... So, okay, I know in 3.0 you can put three dense fires out, and they would act like mines. And if you touched them, they would hurt you, and then after a certain amount of time, they would detonate. Yeah. And putting a new one out reset the timer on all the, or on all the, all the ones that were already out, correct? Yeah. Okay. But now, and now... Go ahead. Okay, so you set it out like a melee one. Mm -hmm. You only have that one, and it kind of gets slower than one. Oh, yeah. Do you know who no, you know one? What do you want? What do you want? Okay. <laughs> I'm really bad at paying attention to everyone. Okay, all right, go ahead. Um, you pretty much, like... Throw it out, like, in, suit, in, in melee. Like, yeah, but basically, yeah. instead of it blowing up, it just stays there. It, or, it just stays there. And if they touch it when it's out there, they get hit by it, and it kind of sends them, depending on how big it is. Because the more, the more it's out there, like, the bigger it gets. Oh, it gets bigger the longer it stays there. Or, the longer you're throwing it. Oh, like, the longer, you hold down the, 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 the longer it travels, the farther it travels, the bigger yeah. it's, like, it's surface, or it's yeah. area. So. Yeah. And the bigger it is, the more damage it does. And you can run into it in the air, and it'll, like, hit you. But 
if someone hits Zelda, it starts going towards her. Okay. And if you hit Zelda, there you go. If something hits Zelda, it starts going towards her. Or if Zelda just hits side B, uh -huh. it'll start just going towards her. Okay, so she can side B again to bring it back to her. Yeah. Okay, and then what happens, like, once it, if it's out there for a certain amount of time and then blows up, does it just do it? It's just a, oh, it's it, a big Because it goes back to her. Yeah, yeah, it goes back to her. Even, okay, so just by time as well. Oh, so uh, no, yeah, by time. I it, forgot it's about that. not going to just blow up. Okay, gotcha. That's kind of cool. Yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't play Zelda, so. But <laughs> I don't like it too much. Interesting. I don't like to set it off stage, because a lot of times it might happen here. You see how it goes in under the stage and look into it? Yeah. It's really like, useless for that. Well, I saw some. I think it was. I think it was also. And you put it on the edge. And then when Do like Dr. Mario, Mario was trying to come up with his up B, then he would bring it back and it would come under the stage and prevent the up B. So I guess yeah. if people are trying to recover low, you could use that. A, a cool thing you can do is like, you can set it right outside the ledge. And I did this to Richie and he got so mad because neither of us knew this would happen. Yeah. You can set it right under the ledge. Uh -huh. And if you hit it, it hits him and stakes by him. Oh, dang. Like, it is, so if they're not ready for the attack, then they can vote his guy. Yeah. Funny. This, this is me and Richie. This is the first time we've played 3.5. Uh -huh. I was still raging about I was still raging about Olimar. Yeah. It's strong bad if you're watching. Fix Olimar. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny when uh, you don't know the changes or whatever. Like there's so much stuff like in PM that I don't know, and then I'll just be playing and I'll see yeah. it and I'll be like, oh wow, you can do that. Like for the first time someone showed me that you can like crouch with Samus and do a little bat boost ball. Oh yeah. I was like, what? That's a thing? Like you can actually do that. Yeah. That's, that's like, uh, Snake has a crawl attack too, actually. Snake with Mario, Squirtle, and Samus. Yeah, yeah. I, had no I knew about Squirtle. Squirtles. Mario's just got added to 5. Oh, okay. that's everybody, part of everybody else had him up until. Cameron, I think I want to pick up with Mario sometimes. Yeah, I knew about snakes like stab. It looks so funny. Yeah, you either do a down tilt where you like spin around and you're like, hey, hey. Yeah, the stab is way better. <laughs> is it? Yeah. It's just hit like. It's just more useful. It's like, faster. It's a lot faster. It, like, it's a hit like. Up. Oh, it pops them up. They have similar hitboxes. I just yeah, imagine it would be like a chic slap, but across the ground. <laughs> yeah, no, it pops them up. Up and in. Yeah. Up and in, huh? It's good for like, some, if they're DIing one, you can like jump and throw a mine on them. Oh. But it's kind of weird to do sometimes. Kill on. Well, you can you get cover to grab on some characters. Yeah, yeah. And it shield pokes really well, because it's like, you know, that's how it is. Oh, yeah. It's oh. like way out there. It's really low. Alright, so even if Hoodie did play Sonic, like, even if he still did, I still think this matchup would be good. I still think he should be me too. Because this matchup would be really bad for Zelda. Up air. Up air. Zelda's? No, I mean, it's like in front of him, so oh, it's just yeah. like... It's just like a wall of his tail. Mewtwo's really good at like, just stopping projectiles and stopping like spacing games. He's more of like a hybrid character, like he can zone really well. But he's oh hybrid. my god, the shadow ball to town A, that was nice. That was really good. Like he started moving toward her before the shadow ball hit, and he's like, this is gonna hit, and I'm gonna kill yeah. him. Like, oh! That was really good, that neutral beam. is love. Yeah, the neutral beam reflects. You see, that's what, oh! I, that's, oh what I was, that's what I was talking about, setting it out there. It hit it right to him, too. Yeah. I was waiting for it. Oh man, this is kind of also, it's doing really good at the Zelda right now. Yeah. It's pretty impressive. It's pretty fun to watch. I love these characters. They're so, like, so crazy. Right. He's looking kind of scared of that uh, Kyra's love now. Yeah. He's going to throw it away because of the fireballs. Pretty good in this, uh, this game. Oh, holy. Can I hit him again on the way back in? I like, believe so. Hit him twice? I think so. so cool. Ooh. Oh man, down tilt. Yeah, down tilt to fair is actually a pretty decent combo if you get it right. It's so funny because like I'm not used to seeing these moves. Like it's nearly like no like, well, no one plays Zelda, but then like that except down tilt's like, like I don't know. Nobody plays like, Zelda except for the moves. So. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like Zelda's all just like spacing forward and back here. Zelda's just like a worst student. <laughs> that was a really good moonwalk by Hoodie. Mewtwo's moonwalk is actually pretty nice. I love it. That was like one of the first characters I was like moonwalking. <laughs> and then like I, I was like, man, I can moonwalk. This is so cool. And then I went into melee and tried to do it with Falcon. I was like, this is really hard. <laughs> yeah, it's different, isn't it? Yeah. Well, it's just, I think the timing uh, is more well. strict in melee. Um, I feel like it's just easier. Yeah. Yeah. So Elsa is like barely living. This is probably going to kill the fight. Like, Okay. Oh, no, it's oh, not. Dreamland, please. Oh, no. Okay. She'll get that, I guess. 
It's very good by Elsa.